Hello my friends, this is Jonesy Boy here and welcome to Electric, where I bring you electronics for the electronics freaks. Today I'm talking about the ANET A8 3D printer with the Bowden E3D V6 printer head upgrade. I only had one model that I printed with the ANET A8 3D printer stock that I actually wanted to reprint with the new upgrade to see how it came out. Here's a time lapse. Here we have the finalized 3D prints, the one on the right being from the stock printer and the one on the left from the Bowden upgrade. You can definitely tell the difference between the two. The one on the right has a lot more visible layer lines than the one on the left, and these were both printed with the same settings from Kiro. I'm unsure if the detail here constitutes a $76 upgrade, but I think I'd pay $30 for it for sure. I'd like to also point out that you've probably noticed that there's an issue with the ankles on the print on the left, and that's because I had to use a lighter to reattach it to the feet. I got impatient with it when I was trying to remove it from the build plate. Another thing that I noticed with the upgrade is that rafts are actually easier to remove from prints. Also, there is some black specks on the print itself, and that's actually from paint and not from the printer. I hope you enjoyed this video on the ANA A8 3D printer with the Bowden E3D V6 printer head upgrade. Now, if you're interested in seeing another video of a print that I made with the new with the newly upgraded ANET A8 3D printer, I have this Obi-Wan Kenobi 3D printed lightsaber build kit that I did and I'll be showing that next week. If you're interested in seeing that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit the notification icon next to it so you'll be notified when that video comes out. If there was anything that I missed in this video, make sure to make a comment down below. Also, if you have any sort of content suggestions or things that you'd like to see me 3D print and possibly do a giveaway of, make sure to make a comment down below as well. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you dislike it, hit that dislike button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.